winding through the lush Balinese countryside on our way back to Desaban. We pass streetside markets full of fresh fruit, bamboo cages for fighting cocks, heaps of flowers used in rituals, people decorating their houses with colourful cloth curtains for weddings, and temples getting ready for prayers and even funerals. Ardika, a skilled photographer from the team, has taken these amazing shots of a Balinese funeral ceremony. It's only when we climb up into the thick jungle area of Ban that the houses get more scattered. It's raining hard, but it's still very muggy and warm. Quite a few of the members of the East Bali Poverty Project office have climbed the Agung volcano over the weekend as part of a religious Hindu pilgrimage. Only certain people go, and the colour red is banned. It's believed to be bad luck on this journey. It's also a 3,000 metre mountain with treacherous narrow ledges to navigate. Even more daunting is the fact that they began the seven hour climb in darkness at midnight in order to see the sunrise from the edge of the crater. Katie, one of the volunteers, went with the group and she told me about the sheer determination it took to finish. She described the heavy smell of sulphur at the top of the volcano and how there were monkeys, lots of them, all along the route. More about those monkeys later. We join one of the climbers, Kadek, an amazing teacher and translator who helps me get an even better insight into the school day up in the hamlet of Makaji. We watch the school cook prepare lunch for the children, sweet potato and rice, and then take a walk round the school grounds, which are edged by cashew nut trees, banana trees, and an uninterrupted net of giant spider webs. I'm told that these aren't as dangerous as a poisonous dead body spider. I'm not exactly sure what these spiders do to you, but I guess the clue is in the title. We see the two wooden community bells, one to represent a man and one a woman, which are used to summon the hamlet to meetings and prayers. Inside the school, Kadek is already using my imagination game to fire up the children. She has only seen me do this a couple of times, but already she takes it even further by getting the whole class to make up their own story around a central creature on the spot. Called... Sabni. Can you see that? Sabni. Abba, 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 Abba. Sabni. We spend almost three hours with the children aged between 11 and 15, developing their own tale with lots of twists and turns, tension and excitement. It was actually difficult to stop them once they started. It included many aspects of their real lives as well, and definitely had a unique ban village influence. Amazing. I'll publish this fantastic story about a mythical creature called a sapnik later. Features and creatures. Fruit trees. Today I'm going to feature the cashew nut tree, known to the locals here as the monkey nut tree. I was surprised to find out that cashew trees grow in Bali and was even more surprised by the strange look to the fruit. The cashew nut that we know and love grows suspended from a red fruit, a bit like a small red pepper. Possibly brought to Asia by the Portuguese from South America, the fruit is juicy and delicious, but it's the cashew nut that is the most prized extract. They also use other parts of the tree, like the case of the nut for medicines, and the pressed fruit juice is made into a drink. In Bali, they also eat the recently emerged leaves raw with rice. Today's creature is the Balinese long-tailed monkey. Monkeys seem to pop up in the strangest places in Bali, on top of volcanoes, beside temples and even in busy city streets. Hanuman is a monkey god. He is said to be the son of the wind god who became a servant of Rama the reincarnation of Wisnu, the god who looks after the world. The Hindu religion, predominant in Bali, has three main gods, Brahma, 
the God who made the world, Wisnu, the God who looks after the world, and Shiva, the God who takes life away. Here is a video of a cheeky monkey eating an offering made to the gods only seconds after it was placed on a busy street shrine in a bud. We're going to look at the days of the week in Indonesian between Monday and Friday. Senin is Monday. Selasa is Tuesday. Rabu, Wednesday. Kamis, Thursday. Jumat, Friday. So, until next time, bye for now.